Let's dissect this iconic photo of El Haj Malik El Shabazz, aka Malcolm X. In this picture, he's doing a phonetic breakdown of the word Negro and how it sounds like Necro and its relations together, and how Negro ultimately means three-fifths person, which is a corpse in law. Which is why when you listen to his speeches, he would often use so-called before black or Negro. So just like he was educating our people on the word Negro, myself and many others today are trying to educate our people about calling themselves black and the uh, legal ramification it has in law. When we look at the word black, we know in Spanish it means Negro or Negro. Phonetically, Negro sounds like Necros, which means dead or corpse. Part of plantations owners' ways of breaking newly acquired Africans, as stated in the literature of that period, was to dehumanize them. The first step in eliciting a subhuman concept, which Malcolm showed you that Negro is a subhuman, was to change their personal names and titles. Slaves were called N-words, which comes from Negro, Spanish for black, or Necros, Latin for dead. The word black in modern dictionaries does not carry one single positive attribute in its definition. When you look up the definition of black, here's what you're going to see. Evil, wicked, cheerless, and depressing. Marked by anger or sullenness. Mournful, destitute of moral light or goodness. Calamitous, atrocious. In pre-colonial African societies, the name of a person, place, or thing is its nature. And we know our pre-colonial or pre-colonized ancestors never called themselves Negroes or blacks. So you have to ask yourself, how can you be something other than what your ancestors were? Book reference. Between the expulsion of the Jews and Moors from Spain and the landing of the first so-called Negro and North American colonies in 1619, the word race entered Western languages. So prior to 1492, the concept of race as we know it today was not used to identify people. So the terms Negroes and Blacks as referred to our people come from Spanish conquistadors who colonized these lands uh, after 1492. But this man right here, Noble Drew Ali, was the one who brought us back our name and nationality in 1913. We don't know about it today because he was sold out by traitors. Book reference. Slavery under the Spaniard. This is the reason why Blackamore in English, Morion in Dutch, Morion in German, Moro in Spanish, Portuguese in Italian, and Morricon in French were early names for what? Negro. Negro a Spanish word did not come into common use in England to the 19th century. And that's the reason why we need to go back to our national principles to stop calling ourselves black. 